good morning officially. I just got back to my car after hiking up to Mamak. Oh my goodness, it was a beautiful morning. Cold, cold but beautiful. It was everything I needed to start my 2024 off. I am filming on New Year's Day, so Happy New Year, Happy 2024. I'm really excited to share this year with you. I have a feeling this is going to be a really, really good year for us. And really, what better way to start it out? Moving my body. Speaking of moving my body, I am going to be going to a weightlifting class with my friend Melissa a little bit later this morning. It's 7.30. I did finish my protein coffee. You saw that I made that this morning. And spoiler alert, that new Premier Protein flavor cookie dough is so good. I bought it at walmart.com. I've never seen it in any local store. So I'll link it down below on the Walmart's website. I found the cheapest one and that's what I ordered. It's really good. It definitely has cookie chocolate vibes to it. I am starving. I've been up since about four. So I've been up for about three and a half hours. I've burned all the calories in my protein coffee and then some. So I'm going to go ahead and head home. We're going to have some breakfast, then get ready for the day. I'm going to share with you my outfit of the day and then we are going to get our weightlifting strength training workout in for the day. Normally I go to boot camp on Mondays and because it's New Year's Day, there wasn't a boot camp today. I decided to hike to Mamak, then go lift some weights a little bit later this morning. I'll go ahead and pop in here my Apple Watch from my hike. I burned a lot of calories. It was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful to see the sunrise this morning. Also, one other thing I wanted to mention is I'm starting my eight week cut today. I talked about this in my goals video for 2024. If you missed that video on Sunday, I'll link it down below for you, but I'm starting an eight to 12 week cut. We're going to kind of see how it goes, which means that I'm going back into a calorie deficit to try to lean down a little bit. So I'm starting that cut today. So I have a specific meal plan, sort of. It's a flexible meal plan, but a meal plan nonetheless that I'll be going off of for the next eight to 12 weeks. You guys definitely was a renowning yes to see a video about my cut. So I'll put that out a little bit later this month, but I'm hungry. So let's head home and have some breakfast. For breakfast, I'm going to have a piece of my sweet potato kale frittata that I made in my meal prep. I'm so excited to have this all week. It's such a great source of protein, veggies, healthy carbs. And then I'm going to have a serving of blackberries, about a hundred grams. Again, some healthy carbs and some fiber. So here is my breakfast. There's 100 grams of blackberries and one serving of my frittata. If you missed Monday's meal prep, I'll link it down below for you. This is the perfect post hike breakfast. I'm in the car on my way to my workout class, trying this new lippy. I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of like a blue, gray, grayish kind of moment. I don't know how I feel about it. One hour later. All right, my workout is done. My second workout. I am a sweaty mess. I get so hot lifting weights. I mean, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that I get hot lifting weights. I drank almost all of my water. It is 1115. My friend Melissa and I have officially decided that we're going to go get a coffee at Starbucks and visit for about a half of an hour or so. I feel like we, we earned a coffee today. So I'm going to go have a coffee and then I'm going to head home and have some lunch. Luckily, I ate that protein bar, so it is tiding me over. I'm not super, super hungry, so I'll be having a little bit later lunch, but between the protein bar and the coffee, that'll definitely help. So Starbucks for coffee it is. So I just got home from coffee. It's 1.30. I have a call here in a half an hour, so I'm going to have some lunch in Palmer. Palmer. Are you crazy? But they want Troy's chips. That's what they want. See, he has chips, so they want them. But this is gonna be my lunch. It's my meal prep that I made in my meal prep on Monday. It's the Parmesan crusted tilapia, green beans, and some potatoes. I'll put points, calories, macros here on the screen. So I finally actually got dressed for the day after being in workout clothes all day. I decided just to keep my hair in a ponytail. We're gonna keep it simple for the rest of the day, but like I promised, I wanna share with you my outfit of the day. I did place a small order on Shein. There was a couple of winter pieces that I wanted to add to my wardrobe. I wanted to get a cozy, comfy loungewear set to carry me through the rest of winter. I also needed a new pair of calf 
high boots because I tried mine on and they were too big. With weight loss, my shoe size has definitely changed. So I picked up a few staples from Shein and I thought I would share with you what I'm wearing today, all from Shein, as well as the other pieces that I picked up. So the first thing I'm wearing is this super cute sweater dress. I wanted a long sleeved sweater dress. It is pretty chilly here. We are going to only be in the high 40s, low 50s for the next few weeks. And I wanted something that I could wear to date night and girls night, perfect for the winter. And I also wanted to add a little bit more navy blue to my wardrobe. It's one of my favorite colors. This is the Shein Privé Turtleneck Drop Shoulder Sweater Dress. It act, it's $13.42 and it comes in about 12 different colors. I got mine in a size large and it fits me perfectly. Now I will say that I am 5'8", so it is a little short on me. Not uncomfortably short, but it is a little bit shorter on me because I'm taller. So if you're a little bit shorter than me, it will be the perfect length for you, but I love it. I love the turtleneck. It is so soft. It's so comfortable absolutely love. And then the other thing I wanted was a new denim jacket. So I do have a couple of denim jackets. I wear them a lot, but I wanted a more true blue kind of navy denim jacket. I love the little ruffly sleeves and the ruffly collar of this. It is super, super stretchy. This is the Shein Loon Women's Solid Color Denim Jacket. $28.39. Comes in sizes extra small through large. Mine's in a large. It fits me perfectly. I could have even gotten a medium because like I said, there's just a ton of stretch, but it is so cute. I love the pockets. I love the ruffly. I love everything about this denim jacket. It is the perfect length. I think it's really cute paired with this dress. It'd be really cute with a bodysuit and skirt. There's so many things. I just love a good denim jacket and I needed to add another one to my wardrobe. Because I am taller, I never buy shoes with heels. I mean, this is about the max of a heel that I like in a shoe. And I wanted a pair of calf high boots. These are really nice quality. They do have a zipper down the side. I love the heel of these. These fit me like a dream. These are the fashionable high cut round toe boot with a chunky heel. They are $35.20. They actually come in black and brown in sizes six through 11. I got mine in a nine and a half, which is my true size. They fit really nicely around my calves. If you have a wider calf, these may not fit you. I have pretty normal calves. I have pretty muscular calves, so they're not small and skinny and they fit me perfectly. So just keep that in mind. Maybe size up if you do have a wider foot or a wider calf, but these I'm pleasantly surprised at how nice the quality is and the fit. Next up is this lounge set. Like I said, I wanted a cozy, warm lounge set and this delivered. This is so buttery soft. I love it. I love the color of it. I love the ribbing design of the pants and the shirt. I will say that it is definitely oversized. The pants, maybe not as much as the shirt. The shirt is huge on me. I mean, I could have probably got an extra small shirt. I picked up the set in a size large. This is the drop shoulder drawstring hooded lounge set. $20.69 for both pieces. Comes in five colors. I have mine in coffee brown. Sizes small through extra large. Love that there's a hood. Love that there's a cute little v-neck and a drawstring, but it is definitely oversized. So I would say if you're in between sizes, size down one, if not too, but I love it. It's so buttery soft. I think I'm actually going to wear this to bed tonight. Another thing I needed was a new down vest. Now I have a brown one that I love. I've worn that multiple times. It's actually from Shein, but I wanted to pick up a new black puffer vest and I didn't want a cropped vest, but I didn't want a full length vest. This one sits perfect on the body and it does have the little strings here that you can pull to tighten it around your waist just so that it's not so boxy. This is the Shein Easywear Drawstring Hem Vest Puffer. $17.49. It actually comes in four different colors in sizes extra small through 4XL. I have mine in a size large. I could have sized down to a medium. So I would say that it's maybe a little bit oversized. And again, it does have the strings here to tighten it around your waist, but I really like this. It's everything that I wanted. And it is so cute with the shirt that I'm wearing underneath. Let me show you that next. And that's this right here. This is so soft. I mean, as buttery soft as that lounge set. It even has that whole ribbed pattern. I love this so much. I really, really love this. I love that there's a hood. I love the color block design of this. And it is so cute with this puffer vest over the top. This is the Shein Ladies Color Blocking Drawstring Top. $12.49, comes in seven different color combos, in sizes small through extra large. I got mine 
in a size large and mine is the black and white. So it has the white, the tan and the black layer. Love this, highly recommend this. It is so soft, amazing quality. And then the jeans that I grabbed, I always try to buy a pair of jeans every time I order from Shein because the quality of the jeans is so good and they're so affordable. I loved the pocket design of these. I love the wash of these. I also love that they are flare leg and button closure front. The quality of these, outstanding. These are the Easy Wear High Waist Boot Cut Jeans. $20.20, comes in four different washes. Mine's in the medium wash, in sizes extra small through 4XL. I got mine in a size large, which is a women's eight to 10. They fit like a dream. They are very stretchy. I will say that the leg is very fitted. So if you have larger legs, you may want to size up, but it actually lays really nice on the body with the boot cut bottom. And again, I love the pocket design. The jeans are so flattering for the price. I mean, $20 for really nice quality jeans. And then last but not least, I wanted to get one more long sleeve shirt. I also was thinking of wearing this with the puffy vest. I love the color of this. It's this nice maroon burgundy. Love the lace sleeves. And then I like this little puckering detail across the front. It's very flattering on the body. This is the Frenchy Women Solid Color Lake Password Patchwork t-shirt, $7.79. It comes in seven colors. I have mine in burgundy, sizes extra small through 4XL. Mine's in a size large and I think it fits very, very true to size. So I would definitely stick true to size. I think I may pick up a couple other colors because I just think this is so cute. It would also be adorable under this jacket. So really, really love this top as well. So that is everything that I picked up to add to my winter wardrobe from Shein. I'm a million percent happy with everything. The quality is really, really nice and you can't beat the prices. I do actually have a special discount for winter from Shein. I'll go ahead and pop it up here on the screen for you. I'll link all of my pieces directly in the description box, all the discount information. It'll all be down below for you, but I'm really loving my outfit. I'm feeling very wintry and very stylish on a budget. So for an afternoon snack, I'm going to whip up a quick protein shake. It's just a couple hours before dinner, but I definitely need to get in a little bit more protein today and something kind of sweet sounds good. So I'm going to make a mint chocolate cookie protein shake with my Clean Simple Eats protein powder. If you know, you know. This is my all-time favorite protein powder. It's really the only one I use for blended protein shakes. I love everything Clean, Clean Simple Eats. I use a lot of their products, but all time favorite protein powder ever. I love these little packets because it's one scoop, one serving, super easy, especially if you work outside the home or you want to take protein on the go. They also sell it by the full bag. So if you find a flavor that you really love, you can buy the big bag of it. And what's also really cool is they have a sampler pack where you get 10 different flavors of protein to try different flavors and find your favorites. That's typically what I do. And then I buy the big bag of my favorites. And this honestly is one of my all time favorites because I love chocolate. I love mint. It's just sounds really, really good. So I'm going to use one packet of this. I do have a 10% discount for Clean Simple Eats. I'll link it down below for you. And then I'm going to do one full cup of my Fairlife chocolate milk. So it's going to be basically a chocolate mint protein milkshake. Yes, very excited. So let's go ahead and blend that up and that'll be this afternoon's snack. Here it is, chocolate milkshake packed with protein. Love the Fairlife chocolate milk, Carmaster chocolate milk, so good. Total milkshake vibes. My dogs are patiently waiting for some whipped cream. Ladies, are we ready? Come here. Hey, Nug. Oh yeah, it's the best time of day. For dinner tonight, I am making chicken Alfredo spaghetti squash. And I'm really excited. Actually, both Troy and I are really excited for this. We love Alfredo, we love spaghetti squash. Win-win. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need minced garlic, non-fat plain Greek yogurt, Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper, chicken broth, 
cornstarch. The recipe calls for mozzarella. I don't have any, so I'm going to sub light fiesta blend. I'm going to do ground chicken versus chicken breast. You can do either one, and then a medium to large size spaghetti squash. So the first thing I'm going to do is slice my spaghetti squash in half, get it on a baking sheet, and get it into the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. I placed my spaghetti squash cut side down and cleaned all the innards out, sprayed my baking sheet with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to pop it in the oven. While our squash is in the oven, I'm going to brown my ground chicken. Once it's browned, go ahead and remove it from the pan and set it aside. You can actually use pre-cooked, pre-shredded chicken breast. You could use rotisserie chicken. You have a lot of options, but I decided to go with ground chicken. I just like ground meat better in general. So I have some nonstick cooking spray in my skillet. I'm going to add a couple of big scoops of minced garlic. Allow that to saute and become fragrant and I did go ahead and transfer my chicken to a bowl and set it aside. I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of chicken broth, two teaspoons of cornstarch, and some salt and pepper. And then we're going to whisk all of that together. We're going to whisk for about one to two minutes until our sauce starts to thicken. Add our one half cup of Parmesan cheese and again whisk until that cheese is melted. And we're adding in our three quarters of a cup of Greek yogurt and again whisking until our sauce is formed. Add in your chicken and stir again just until everything is combined. I just pulled out the squash. You can see that it's flaking off, so it is done. I'm going to allow it to cool for about 10 minutes. We're going to just separate the strands from the edge of the spaghetti squash half. Leave your strands in the spaghetti squash. No need to remove them. We're actually going to prepare the chicken alfredo right inside the squash. Then we're going to take our chicken mixture and divide it evenly amongst the two spaghetti squash shells. Take your fork and kind of mix it in with the spaghetti squash noodles. You want to make sure that the chicken mixture gets all the way to the bottom of the squash. I have a quarter cup of light shredded cheese. I'm going to sprinkle half of that on each half of the squash. We're gonna throw these back in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. You can also throw them under your broiler if you want them nice and brown. Look how amazing this looks. This actually makes four servings. So a serving is half. So you can either scoop half out of the shell or in my case, I'm going to just eat half and put the other half in the fridge. Troy probably will eat an entire half. I'm going to plate these up, sprinkle them with some parsley and I'll be back to share points, calories and macros. So here is one half or two servings of the chicken alfredo spaghetti squash. Again, I'm going to just eat half of this, wrap the other half up, up, throw it in the fridge for dinner tomorrow. This is an amazing, 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 healthy protein packed dinner. All of the information is here on the screen for you. So for dessert tonight, I'm keeping it really simple. I'm not super hungry, but I wanna finish getting in the rest of my protein, carbs, all of that for the day. So I'm going to have one of my Chobani Zero Sugar yogurts in strawberry. I love the Chobani Zero Sugar. It's really, truly my favorite yogurt. And then I'm going to put two tablespoons of my Chia Smash. This is amazing. I buy this right off of Amazon. I'll link it for you. You can also find this at health food stores. It is four ingredients, strawberries, chia seeds, dates, and lemon. That is it. It's absolutely delicious. You're getting the healthy benefits of the chia seeds. It adds kind of a jam jelly sauce texture to yogurt. I love it. Just topped on yogurt. I was thinking I would do some granola, but I think I'm just going to keep it really simple with my Chia Smash and my Chobani Zero Sugar Strawberry. So I decided to add a couple things to my yogurt. I did some blueberries, half of a cup of blueberries, and then a quarter cup of the Catalina Crunch Cinnamon Toast Cereal. I really like this. I have a discount for Catalina Crunch. I'll link it for you guys, but this is the Cinnamon Toast, and it adds some extra protein, some fiber, and a good crunch to my yogurt bowl. For today's what I eat in a day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food that I ate. It's the first day of my cut and I feel like it went 
really, really well. I definitely find that I'm a lot less hungry, not eating really processed foods, just really focusing on whole real food, getting in a lot of protein. It's definitely helping with satiety, which is great. Being in a calorie deficit, the less hungry we are, the better. If you enjoyed seeing today's What I Eat in a Day, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, turn your bell on because I upload a What I Eat in a Day every Wednesday. I'll link my Shein outfit, all of Shein down below for you, plus all the other things that I shared with you in today's video. Nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy 2024, happy January. Let's kill our goals in 2024, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.